Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you are doing well. God give you more happiness and more success in your life. Please check back the latest update about Iraqi dinar. In my videos, I try my best that I give you the latest update. So share it with your friends and family and subscribe my YouTube channel for supporting me. Let's check the latest update. Iraq has sparked considerable interest and anticipation among investors and observers. The disclosure suggests not only the existence of international and in-country rates for the Iraqi dinar, but also hints at an upcoming international trading phase that could have far-reaching implications in this comprehensive article. We will delve into the details of this revelation, exploring the dynamics of international currency, trading, the role of the Central Bank of Iraq and the broader economic implications for Iraq. Understanding the dual rate system, the crux of the information obtained from the contact in Iraq revolves around the existence of two distinct rates for the Iraqi dinar, an international rate and an in-country rate. This revelation opens a window into the complexity of managing a national currency in the global arena. Historically, countries have employed dual rate systems for various reasons, such as controlling capital flows, managing inflation, or supporting domestic industries in the case of Iraq, the dual rate system may be a strategic move to navigate the challenges of its evolving economic landscape, the international trading of Iraqi dinar. Perhaps the most intriguing aspect of the revelation is the indication that Iraq is poised to trade its currency internationally. This raises questions about the significance of such a move, the potential impact on the global financial markets, and what it means for investors, especially those holding Iraqi dinars. The timing of this international trading phase, particularly the suggestion that it could occur around the close of markets on Fridays, adds an element of anticipation to the unfolding narrative to grasp the implications of international trading. It's essential to understand how currencies are bought and sold on the global stage. Forex markets operate 24 hours a day, day 5 days a week, and the close of markets on Fridays is a pivotal moment when traders assess the week's activities and position themselves for the upcoming week. If the Iraqi dinar is indeed set to be traded internationally at this juncture, it could signify a pivotal moment for the currency's valuation and global standing bank closures and rate fluctuations. The information suggests that the new Iraqi Dinar rate will be trading internationally somewhere in the time frame when banks close around 6 Guan on Fridays. This raises questions about how banks play a role in facilitating the international trading of the dinar, and whether the timing of these events holds significance. The interplay between bank closures, market dynamics, and the initiation of international trading could be crucial in understanding how the currency's value is determined. Moreover, the mention of the trading range being significantly above both the international and in country rates for Iraq adds complexity to the situation, investors and economists alike. May wonder about the factors contributing to this strong trading range and how it aligns with Iraq's economic fundamentals. It raises the possibility of speculative forces at play, or perhaps insider knowledge influencing market sentiments, notifications, and the anticipation of change. The disclosure suggests that notifications regarding the new Iraqi dinar already are expected by Arab before the upcoming Satur day. This timeline creates a sense of urgency and anticipation among investors as they eagerly await official communications that could potentially reshape the value of their holdings. The reliability of the sources providing this information becomes paramount. As investors hang on to every word in the hope of gaining insights into the future trajectory of the Iraqi dinar. If the notifications do indeed materialize, it could mark a significant milestone in the unfolding narrative. The timing of these notifications occurring on or before a Saturday raises questions about whether there is a deliberate effort to manage market reactions. Or, if it aligns with broader economic strategies, investors will be closely watching for any official announcements from the Central Bank of Iraq or other relevant authorities. As these notifications could serve as a turning point in the journey of the Iraqi dinar, the CBI's assurance in the delete, the Zeros project amidst the anticipation and speculation, the Central Bank of Iraq has reportedly communicated to its citizens not to fear the implementation of the delete, the Zeros project. This initiative aimed at red nominating the currency by removing three zeros is a substantial undertaking that has been met with mixed reactions in other countries that have pursued similar projects. 
the CBI's assurance that the process will be executed in a manner to minimize confusion is noteworthy redenomination. Projects often involve all of logistical challenges, public communication strategies, and meticulous planning to ensure a smooth transition. The revelation that the existing 30 series currency will coexist for a period of two years in the marketplace and up to 10 years through. Banks indicates a phased approach to the currency overhaul, evaluating the economic implications for Iraq, a nation, rebuilding its economy after years of conflict and instability. The stakes are high. The mention of a small increase, doing little to jumpstart the economy, underscores the need for substantial financial injections. The revelation suggests that Iraq must import almost everything at this point, emphasizing the urgency for a robust economic transformation. If the Iraqi dinar is indeed set to trade internationally, it could provide the much-needed financial boost to facilitate imports and position Iraq as a powerhouse in the Middle East. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more updates.